What's up, family, and welcome back to another video. Today on the menu, we have Italian sausage pizza. Let's get into it. For this hood gourmet recipe, you will need, of course, hot Italian sausage. I have pesto. I have the pizza sauce of my choice, the cheeses of my choice. I have some ready to bake store bought pizza crust, banana pepper, onion, and green pepper. Now I'm going to get started on my pizza sauce because y'all know I gotta jazz up this pizza sauce. It's just not enough flavor for me. I gotta take this sauce to flavor time. So I just got me a small little saucepan and I'm gonna dump in my jarred pizza sauce. And we're gonna start to bring that up to a nice light boil. And I'm going to add in some minced garlic. That is two tablespoons of minced garlic. You can add fresh garlic if you want to. I am also going to add some pesto. Pesto is just a fancy name for basil, pine nuts, olive oil, uh, excuse me, olive oil, and some Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, so after you add your two tablespoons of pesto, you want to add, I would probably say this is like a tablespoon of sugar. Sugar just helps cut some of that acidity from the tomatoes. I'm also gonna go in with my all-purpose herb seasonings, which is just like a blend of like oregano, uh, basil, uh, all types of herbs, just blend it in one. So I'm gonna add some of that. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. And of course, a little bit of slap your mama for a little bit of pizzazz. So now just give it a nice stir, sit it on the back burner, let it chill out on low, let those seasonings and herbs get all blended up in that sauce and your sauce will be ready to go. Let's get started on our Italian sausage. So of course what I'm going to do is take the casing off of these sausages because I just want the meat. I don't want the outer casing. And you can use whatever meat you have. Um, pepperonis, I mean chicken, shrimp, however, steak, however you want to do it. This is what I had available in the fridge. So you got to use what you got to what? Get what you want. So 
I think I had about four Italian sausages that I'm using for this particular recipe. So what I'm going to do is just finish casing them all and I should be back to show you how your ground beef should look. Or excuse me, your Italian sausage. Okay, so here is about how you want your Italian sausage to look. Sort of like ground beef. That's why I said ground beef earlier. So that's that. And here is all of my chopped up veggies that I'm going to be sauteing. I'm going to saute them first. Grab you a trusty, rusty pizza pan or whatever is your favorite dish to bake pizza on. And I'm just going to start rolling out this um, dough and get it in a nice circular shape. And just fit it on your pan as best as you can. You know, I'm not a professional. I'm just going to try to mold this in a circular shape. And once I get done fighting with this dough, I will be back. all right fam let's start layering up your pizza so here i just melted some butter with some garlic and some parsley and i'm just going to go around my edges and brush that brush that crust because it's going to give it a nice browning when it goes in the oven And you really don't have to pre-bake your pizza crust um, unless it's super, super thick. Um, I did not have to pre-bake this and the pizza dough was just nice and crispy at the bottom. It was cooked all the way through. It wasn't doughy. And again, you can use the cheese and the toppings of your choice. I'm just using, like I said, what I had available in my refrigerator. I'm sure, um, like I said earlier, if you use pepperoni or do like a chicken or I'm pretty sure it'll come out just as good.
Okay, so now I have my desired um, amount of toppings on my pizza. So I'm just gonna finish it off before it goes in the oven with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese and a few dashes of black pepper. And of course a few dashes of parsley just to make it look nice and pretty when it comes out of that oven. Okay, let's pop this baby in the oven. My oven is heated to 350 degrees. Let's go. And here you have the finished pizza, which looks amazing. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking some melted, um, the rest of that melted garlic butter, and I'm just brushing those edges just to get, just to build up more flavor. Beautiful. You do not have to be a pro to make a bomb pizza. And this is your pizza. So, you know, if you want to add a ton of more cheese or a little bit less cheese, do you. Do whatever you and your family want to do. And I think this was in the oven. I had the oven set at 350 and I think I had this in the oven for about about 30 about 30 minutes I had to bake this. It was no longer than 45 minutes. So now you know what time it is. It's time to slice this pizza up and let's grub. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay safe, stay blessed.